The first thing I want to do is dangle one of these sausages in your face. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, been a minute since I've had some fresh pierogies made straight from the hands of the Nonas of my city. So we get these like at the churches and stuff or whatever, or they just deliver them right to the stores now, I think. But anyways, from the hands of the Ukraine grandmas right here, Polish, I don't know, you, a, a mixed bag of old ladies, basically. So there's that. But yeah, this is definitely a craver, something I haven't had in a long time, a childhood favorite. We're gonna have some pierogies, some onions, some bacon, some sausage on the grill, some coleslaw, maybe some pickled things, but definitely like a, a throw together type meal when you get off work, get home, nothing too serious. You can buy it all pretty much, cut a few things, and then have yourself a delicious meal. Outside on the deck is where we're gonna end up because the sun is shining and it is a beauty out, so. So we're gonna have a delicious pierogi adventure together. We 100% need some extra sauteed onions with sauteed bacon as well. Onions done, off to the side. All right, y'all, three or four slices of bacon here. Just rough chop down into some smaller pieces for the pan, for the saute. Working with warm bacon is always just such a joy. <laughs> the colder your bacon, the better. I, uh, I actually had to defrost this in the microwave, so that's why it's a little like this, but uh, it'll work. We'll still get there. Same result will be achieved. It's just a little bit finicky for when we're cutting. All right, I think we know what comes next here. We got the flame up, medium, pan on, of course. Go ahead and go in. Bacon. All right, while well, that's happening, doing its thing, quick little bag of coleslaw, pre-made slaw right into the bowl. Just gonna mix it up. All right, nothing fancy. Like I said, just getting in from work type of meal. I got the craft coleslaw dressing. I like quite a bit. Mix her up, see where we're at, see if we got enough. Like I said, I do like it quite creamy. But I think we're pretty much in the ballpark with that. Yeah, that should be pretty good. All right, bacon and onions are like halfway done, so I'm just gonna make some room in the pan real quick. Chuck in a little oil for the pierogies. Got our little layer of oil in there. Get these pierogies going. Okay, while those are slowly simmering away, I got these smokies here that we're gonna put on the grill, but for them I wanna make a little sauce. So here's what I'm thinking, honey mustard with a bite. All right, so here we go, boom. Maybe one and a half tablespoon of mayo. Bunch of honey, maybe a tablespoon. We got Dijon mustard, maybe half tablespoon. Little bit of ballpark mustard, not a lot. And a bit of horseradish, mini whisk. Little taster. Amazing. And if we're having pierogies, we definitely need some sour cream. Using up the very last of what I have, I hope it'll stretch the whole way because I do love sour creamy pierogies, but I thought I had more than I did. Okay, we've got the Smokies here. A couple little slices for the grill just so they don't uh, explode in my face, basically. All right, slice Smokies. Let's head out to the grill. All right, the broil can heating up. We gotta get these snossages on the flames. Let's go, baby. Right here in the back where she's Smoking hot. Okay, gang's all here. Maybe close the lid on that and come back in just a moment or two. All done. Go ahead and pop these on our plate. And let's go ahead and go throw this plate together and then we'll meet you back outside to eat. All right, let's go ahead and pop this plate together. First things first, pierogies down. Try and make this a nice uniform put together plate to some degree, even though it's a throw together home plate. 
we still like to keep it neat and organized a little bit, you know? Can't forget to spoon on all the goods. Bacon and onions, much necessary. Of course, we need our sausages. Plot those in right there. All right, another little shift. Can't forget our cold, creamy coleslaw. Cold, creamy coleslaw, triple C. Right there, a little bit of sour cream there. We got our dip in mustard. And that'll be it. The quick after work throw together plate. Much necessary, very delicious, super excited to eat it. Let's do this. All right, yo, welcome to a beautiful evening dinner. The sun's dipping, it's about nine o'clock right now. It dips at about 9.37 to be exact tonight. So I got a little quick window to eat this outside with the birds the chirping and everything, just a vibe. Very much an after work home plate. Keeping it casual with a large thing of water. Need that today. And in the spirit of pierogies and sausages, I feel like Polish Ukrainian, that style of food, they do love pickled things. So I bought these pickled beans, extreme beans, Steve's extreme beans, and I'm going to add into the mix. But I am so ready to eat this. So, so ready to eat this. And the first thing I want to do is dangle one of these sausages in your face <laughs> while I dip it into this sauce. This honey mustard with a bite with the horseradish bite mainly a Dijon honey mustard but let's go Absolutely out of control. Oh man, dude. Just the crispy edges. The little snap of the casing. That flame kiss taste. And The sweet and bite of this. Out of the park. Let me know down below how high do sausages, like a like grilled sausage, how high does that rank for you? When I was younger, didn't love them. As I've gotten older, to die for just the best and I don't know when the last time I had a pierogi was either like a proper known a special no idea but I'm ready for it now oh man These are the uh, just those kind of homemade meals that feel so comforting. Just classics. Absolute classics. Let's just go a little more savage on this one for you. <laughs> Give you guys a oh, dripping. Add some more stuff on top it's two baby two all day try a little coleslaw just a quick quick baggie with some craft really good 
I normally don't like craft dressings. I find them usually to be very really preservative type flavors. But this one's not bad. Definitely no Popeye's coleslaw, I'll tell you that. The best. I'm so zen out right now. <laughs> Just with the sunset. All right, before we try bean, I think I want one more thing that's kind of like fatty, greasy, and then we'll cut it with the bean. Steve's beans. I feel like these uh, came out some years back. I feel like it's like a, it's like a very homegrown Wow, I can't even get that open. Oh, my bad. It's Matt and Steve. So sorry. <laughs> okay. Simple now. All right, Matt and Steve. Let's see what your beans have to offer me here. Very good brine. Extremely delicious brine. <clears throat> Man. That combo hits. Mmm. I debated between pickled beets or the pickled beans. I think I made the right choice. Mm. I wonder if any, does anybody in my audience watch, um, your mom's house podcast Tom Segura and his wife Christina it's my obsession I listen to episodes like every day and they're just so outrageously hilarious but they do these special live events where they actually are somewhere in the world, like in front of a crowd in a bar. So they do like a podcast, but live. And it's like a paid special event. So they just did one in Florida. And because it's like behind a paywall type thing, it's absolute madness. Like the type of clips that they're able to show that people like send in to like put on the, in the segments. And it starts, it starts like a regular podcast, like how they would just pretty ridiculous. And then it graduates into the heavy segment. And in the heavy segment, the videos that are submitted are like, <laughs> too much. Way too much. To the point where <laughs> they actually prep the audience with 
barf bags on their table just in case people can't handle it. And like, I would say, I watched it, me and my sister, we always rent them and we get like a little bit tipsy. We just get kind of drunk and, and watch them together. And like, in the heavy segment, I would say half the clips, I just had to like, like avert my eyes half the time because I was just like, I can't hack what's going on here. The one clip that threw me was like, this guy, had his his piece out naked and like the tip like pried open sorry if this is ruining your life and he like purposely aggravated a hornet's nest and broke it so that they would like swarm his piece and he recorded <laughs> and then he recorded them going into his penis <laughs> I was just the shit that people do out in the world and film it and like think like I don't know people are crazy <laughs> real disturbing clips but the the regular podcast it is like ridiculous outrageous stuff but not to that extent but still pretty ridiculous and I don't know I just live for that like it cracks me the fuck up just curious to see if there's any other your mom's house or mommies that's what that's what they call the, the people the mommies and jeans if there's any mommies and jeans that watch me and if you don't watch it look it up just type in ymh on youtube you'll probably get addicted It's not for politically correct people, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it is an outrageous podcast. In the best way possible, though. Because they don't have to give a shit. They own the podcast. Like, it's theirs. They built it. And they're both so successful in their careers and through, like, the podcast and stuff. They, they just make so much money. They have so much money. It's like, at, the, at a certain point, when you have as, that much money... Especially as a comedian, you don't have to say, you don't have to worry about anything that you say, really, like, with within reason. I mean, there's going to be some stuff that if you're doing it in an aggressive, like, obviously shitty way. But for the most part, any and all things are fair game for them to talk about. And that reminds me of a time when life was actually like more enjoyable because people understood like jokes and, and like how to understand jokes in context. But now everybody is just so sensitive of everything and everybody's got like a Twitter or platform and everybody's like somebody's offended and then they come in a mob and then there's just like Guys are taking this all way too seriously. What I don't understand about that stuff too is like, if you if it's not your taste, just move on. Like, go hang out with the people that don't offend you. That like you like go listen to the stuff that won't offend you. Go like you have a choice to not engage in things that bother you. That's what I don't understand about so many people in today's world. You know, standing on hills and dying on the hill of just like this is offensive to me, and then and this is like, but. 
just go to to where you feel comfortable in the world where like watch what you want to watch that's not going to offend you watch what you enjoy hang out with the people that you enjoy like-minded groups go over there and just do your thing like don't even pay any mind to this you don't even have to get mad about it if it's not in your world you know it's a very interesting uh weird state of affairs <laughs> that we're living in these days too many self-righteous people with <laughs> access to like have an opinion on something when like they themselves behind closed doors or just in general life like outside of your perfect little twitter post or your perfectly scripted video response like in your life you're you do you know heinous or you know un not ideal things too like everybody does them in their day-to-day -day, like either unintentionally or just because we're all flawed in some way or some shape or form but like when people get on the internet and go make videos and twitter and and just have these like limited moments of public opinion they're so self-righteous in that moment like oh like i've never done anything bad or i've never done anything wrong or i don't offend people on the daily it's like you're not exempt so that's what's interesting about the internet in the world is like too many people are able to present this perfect thing and then it's like that opinion can be heard or mimicked time and like you know like six thousand five hundred thousand times like whatever and then it's like but you're you're just as flawed as anybody else right right so it's just so interesting anyways i don't know where my head was going there i just tan tangent but uh we're good here it's delicious sun's dipping gonna clean this off real quick and then i'm gonna go watch this movie called monster on netflix i started it 20 minutes in it's really cool so far so i'm gonna go finish that out all right until the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true